Hey guys, thank you so so much for coming back to my channel and if this is your first time, hello, my name is Samantha. As you saw in the title, I am doing a stay, one night stay at the Courtyard by Marriott in San Diego, which is my hometown. And I wanted to do this series for a while because I realized that I do love traveling all around the world, all sorts of cities, states, countries, but I've lived in San Diego my entire life and I haven't really explored as a touristy local, I guess you can say. So I was going to do this before the pandemic, but then it hit, so I put it off. And now I'm very excited to start this. I'll be doing reviews and room tours of the places I stay because I realize a lot of people have asked me where, what Airbnb do you recommend, what area do you recommend, hotels that I find so to help the, to do it. It's like a two-way street so I'm, I'm enjoying my time traveling around San Diego staying so yeah I'm very excited about these new little staycation travels that I'll be taking you guys along with me so I'm very excited because it looks like a really nice hotel. All right, let's do this. This is the room I will be staying in. It is, like you saw before, it is the Courtyard by Marriott and we are in Livery Station area right next to the airport. I got a one bedroom. I got a one bedroom king sized. There's my king. And it's very spacious. I like this, it's very clean. And it also comes with your own little seating area, as you can see. Seating area. I did book a room with a balcony. The base price comes with no balcony. And I don't know if you can choose the view. I'll go in there a bit. They have your microwave and a pretty decent sized fridge, a desk, place and this is really cool I like that you can connect your social media places like Netflix and YouTube on the smart TV that's great these are my you get a small closet with those my shoes I didn't know this but you get a sofa bed in case I don't know someone wants to crash the night here This is the back entrance. See, very, very decent. You do have your. They do. They do put a coffee machine here, or should I say Keurig, which I love. And then you have another mini fridge. So you actually have two fridges if you get the king, the one bedroom king sized with a balcony view. Um, let's go see the bathroom. So here's your mirror. <laughs> and then, yeah. Decent sized bathroom. Let's go back there. The towels. Bathtub. It's a two in one. And then, Here's your hair dryer. So yeah, you have a really big, more towels, really big mirror. 
so I'm very, very happy with this. And let's go, let's go out to the balcony because that's my favorite part of staying here in Liberty Station is the view that you get. So the view that you get, they do have the pool open. That's what they told me. They also have the gyms open. But this is going to be a very pretty view at night. And then here's my balcony, so I can just open it if I want to. And you'll get such a pretty, pretty view. This is going to be such a relaxing day. I'm very excited. But yeah, that's what you get with this. When you stay at the Courtyard by Marriott here at Liberty Station right across. It's like right next to the airport, so I don't know how that's gonna go with the noise, with the noise, but hopefully everything is great and you can relax. I'm going to show you, now I'm gonna go outside and show you how close of a walk it is to just enjoy the day if you decide to stay at the Marriott, the Courtyard Marriott. All right guys, let's go. Good morning, everyone. I have made it through the night. Again, I am staying at the Courtyard by Marriott in Point Loma slash Liberty Station. I will 
I will send you the link below to see if you want to check out the hotel and all their amenities. Currently it's in April 2021 and they have mostly all of their amenities open except the bar and the two restaurants that they have on this property they do have a small market that is open i believe it's open 24 hours a day near the lobby where you can go get food quick bites coffee and i believe they have a mini starbucks from 6 to 10 every morning i was a little worried that the sound from because this hotel is right across the little bay waterfront from the san diego airport so i was really really worried that it was going to be loud because i know sometimes light sleepers have that issue me personally if it's very loud i can't sleep but this hotel is a great insulator when i shut my patio window door it completely silences the room enough that you still hear the cars outside passing by because you're right near a major highway slash street but it's more muted so i was i can sleep through that if that's another issue for you guys it's not too loud i think so their pool and their hot tub are open for everyone again this is still april 2021 california is still reopening uh, in a tier based system so I'm hoping by June everything will be back to normal the front desk did say that they were very busy so I'm very happy about that and I am going to show you um, the last thing I wanted to show you guys and share is how close to the waterfront you guys are from this hotel but overall I enjoyed my stay here they are very welcoming very nice the the hotel itself is very nice on the outside. The elevator is really quite small. I think they can only allow nine people max in the elevator. Certain parts of it look a little dated, but overall it's a very comfortable stay. I really enjoyed it. Would I stay here again? I think so. I've, I haven't, and this is, again, like I said, this is the first of many videos that I'll be posting because I've lived in San Diego all of my life and I've never really explored my city in a in a adult way i guess you can say this is a small way to really enjoy my time and enjoy the city that i live in that i love so much and i just want to share it with you maybe help you guys out on your travels one thing i should mention as going into this hotel i knew it said that they were going to charge me seven dollars for parking but when I walked into the lobby, they said they have waived all parking fees. So that was very nice of them. I don't know for how long that they're going to do that for, but for, I guess, the month of April, no parking fees if you stay at the courtyard at, by Marriott. So that was, that was a plus, a plus, because if you don't know, very rarely do you get free parking in San Diego because especially if you go downtown here it's i i was a little like they have a lot of parking why why don't you do free parking but they did so it was it worked out perfectly so for transparency's sake if you want to see what is available at the courtyard for your trip in san diego i will put the link below for your to see all the pictures reservations for this hotel i believe i saw a lot of families here so if you have kids, I think it'd be great. If you're alone, if you're a partner, it's a it's a good stay. And there's a lot of nice and entertainment options. Right, just a ten, you can walk. It's a 10 minute walk. I decided to drive, so made it into a five minute drive. So let's go see how close to the waterfront we are.
Hey guys! Good morning. I spent a lovely day at this hotel. My hotel's right behind. It's a very chilly morning, as you can see here. This is the bay. This is the bay area of San Diego, and it's very lovely. I also like that it was near the shops so that you can go and eat really close by. So I had a great time. And yeah, if you want to visit the courtyard at Marriott here at Liberty Station right in front of the airport, check it out. Bye!